Hi, and welcome to The Eric Herb Show Live. You can find me online at theericherbshow.com and, of course, twitter.com forward slash The Eric Herb Show. I'm also on spreaker.com uh, at The Eric Herb Show Live and then, of course, anchor.fm, The Eric Herb Show Live. And, of course, now you can find me on Podbeam at podbeam.com uh, forward slash Eric Herb Live. I want to talk to you today uh, about something. I've been on uh, the coronavirus. I've been hot on its trail here and covering this for the last three weeks plus. Uh, And I'm reading an article in uh, naturalnews.com. The article says, yes, the coronavirus is a bioweapon with gene sequencing Uh, That's only possible if it was genetically modified in a lab. So that's what we've been suspecting. That's what we've been saying all along, a lot of the scientific community, that this was a bioweapon. And the truth of the the, the matter is uh, the novel coronavirus uh, is starting to trickle its way out to the realm of independent science uh, with new research pointing to the strange anomalies and the virus genetic structure. It suggests it's more likely a bioweapon. So, so folks, the more these scientists are, are examining this uh, coronavirus, the scarier it is, uh, it's... Uh, anomalies and it's changing its DNA, it's changing its key structural proteins. They've also added, when they created this coronavirus, I don't know if you were aware, they also added the uh, uh, AIDS virus, uh, HIV. So here you have a virus that will not only kill you, uh, it will stay with you for life. I don't know if anybody knows about that when you have uh, a form of HIV or anything else like that. Um, it doesn't go away. Uh, there are medicines here, uh, at least here in the United States, that will treat HIV, but HIV, uh, like other things, just don't go away. Uh, it stays with you, stays in the blood, Um it just stays dormant. Sometimes you might have an outbreak. Uh, but again, um, HIV does not go away. And people people don't understand that. Um, it's, it's something that uh, affects anyone that comes in contact with somebody with the coronavirus. They're even saying the coronavirus is airborne. You breathe on somebody. You sneeze. You breathe. Uh, you can get it anywhere you have an, I hate to be gross, but anywhere you have an orifice on your body, uh, your ears, eyes, nose, mouth, uh, anything. Uh, if you, they didn't think it before, but now they're beginning to question themselves. If you breathe or something on somebody, uh, somebody breathes on you that's infected, um, you can get the coronavirus. Uh, and somebody will say, you know, I've heard people say, oh, Eric, you know, you're fear mongering, you're crazy, you're this, you're that, blah, 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 blah. No, th- this is the fact. Just talk to these people over there in China right now. These people over there in China are dying off, uh, just like the uh, Spanish flu. I think that was back in 1918. You know, the Spanish flu hit and, and millions of people, you know, thousands of millions of people ended up dying over the Spanish flu. Uh, you go back in history, uh, back into the, I believe, the 13th century, you had the bubonic plague. Well, they said the bubonic plague came from rats. Well, okay, started in Europe, and that took 60% of Europe. And then all of a sudden, just one day, pow, it just it stopped. They, they, they can't figure it out. It just all of a sudden stopped. But again, uh, the bubonic plague wiped out almost back in the 13th century about... Uh, uh, 60% of the European population. And I mean, that's, that's, that's fucking huge. If you really look at something like that and you really think about something like that, this is on track to, to do the same thing and worse if we don't find a cure and we don't find something fast for the coronavirus. 
Uh, you have people, the WHO, as I've been saying over and over and over, these people are in bed with the Chinese. They're, they're on TV. They're everywhere. I see them everywhere. These, 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 the assholes there at the World Health Organization, you know what? They're on there congratulating China, telling China what a good job you're doing containing the virus. It's like these fucking assholes want this shit to spread. Oh, yeah, taking, taking all these Chinese people that are sick, you know, help them out, blah, 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 blah. It's not that we're unsympathetic. It's that they don't have a fucking cure, asshole. That's what I want to tell the the, the, the WHO, the, the, the gentleman there. Uh, I believe he's from India that keeps spreading this stuff and saying China's doing such a good job. Do you ever stop and think, why is he telling all the world that China's doing such a good job? He's a total asshole. He's doing it because China's telling them to do it. They're afraid of China. Like I, like I tell everybody, my expression is they're in bed with one another, and that's that's the bottom line. Uh, I know that it, this virus is spreading and... Uh, um, the mainstream media is ignoring this, and it's just, it's absolutely, positively, it's nuts. It was an engineered bioweapon uh, that, that, that was made, uh, and, and it was made to kill lots and lots and lots of people, uh, obviously. You know, uh, it's, it's, it's crazy, uh, but it's the truth. You know, sometimes de- sometimes we, we, we get in denial from the truth and our mind automatically goes into denial and we don't want to admit that uh, something is happening and something's real. And we just, because we can't conceive it, the mind can't conceive anything, then we go into a state of denial. But the bottom line is there, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of fucking evil things in this world. And this is definitely evil. And this was caused by the Chinese. Don't shit yourself. This was caused absolutely positively by the Chinese. So now the question is, I've heard both sides of the coin, and and it's an opinion question, is was this released on purpose, this coronavirus, or was it an accidental release? And so um, I've seen both sides of the coin. I don't have enough facts to actually be able to tell you, yes, this was on purpose, or no, it wasn't. All I know is we have to stop the shit. That's the bottom line. That's that's what that's what the average everyday person, man and woman think. We don't care if it was released on purpose. Yeah, we probably do care, but it's too late for that shit now. We need to stop this fucking shit. We need to stop this virus now. And all we can do is just pray for the folks over there in China and pray for the rest of the world and pray for all of us. Pray to God Almighty that we can find a cure for this coronavirus. They, they, they have been saying uh, the news that it'd be at least six months to a year out. Uh, not, not to have a fake cure, not to have a placebo effect, but a real cure because, again, you have to go through uh, clinical trials and testing and then clinical trials again. And then, then finally, after they test on animals and everything, as I've been saying in other podcasts, uh, then they test on, they'll finally do clinical trials on humans, human beings. So there, there's a long, long process before they release a drug, the pharmaceutical industries, and they release a drug. There's a long, tedious, tedious process. And so uh, all we can do is just pray for the rest of the world right now. Uh, this this shit's going around. It's going around at an accelerated pace. It's covering all of Asia, and it's covering that half of the globe. Thank God it hasn't got uh, too far here in the United States, although uh, they're saying the numbers are between 12 and 15 right now. Uh, still just the same. I think the numbers are worse. The media's covering it up. Uh, the government, of course, is covering it up. I, I think it's shitty, and I think it's awful that the media has to do this. They have to lie. They always lie to the people. That's why we call them fake news. So let me know what you think of this video. Um, like, subscribe. Uh, I'd love to have you as a supporter. Uh, so if you like this content, uh, we can stay on the air by supporting the program. This is Eric Erb from The Eric Erb Show Live. You can find me online at com. And, of course, twitter.com forward slash The Eric Herb Show. And, of course, I'm on anchor.fm, The Eric Herb Show Live, and spreaker.com forward slash The Eric Herb Show Live. And, of course, uh, my new platform, uh, Eric Herb Live, on Podbeam. Go to podbeam.com forward slash Eric Herb Live. This is Eric Herb signing off.